Hi, it's Jess here from Nigessa Creates. Thank you for joining me today. So I've just been away for, feels like a week, but it was about four days, um, five days. <laughs> I've lost count. And um, so I've been to Wales, went to Anglesey, went all over. And I, of course, visited some charity shops. So I'm going to show you um, what I got. And um, I got quite a lot um so let me start with well, i won't say the thing i'm most excited about because i'm excited about it all really so um i got this this was i think the first thing i bought and um i just how beautiful is that i mean there's the um it's got oh, it's upside down so it's got written on there what it is basically it's a new testament but it's in welsh so I was in Wales and I just love these sort of gold inlay bits, but you can't see the title of the book there, but it's, it's there. Really nice. Liked it. Loved this bit. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, £15 I paid for it, but, you know, a bit more than I'd normally pay. But I'd probably never find another one of these. Got some writing there, which I can't read. Um, but... It's still nice. I'll probably rub all this pencil out. Um, so I'll probably scan that because I think that's a nice bit of paper. And I'll rub that out again. I'm glad they put it in pencil. So it is the New Testament. Um, and um, there is, in Roman numerals, the, the date there. And it's 1835. So that's lovely. I just love all the... All the discoloration and then we get into the bible and it's just lovely and as i say it's it's written in welsh um and i just thought that um it was nice to have different languages i love the way that there was a frame around each of the pages so they're all like this there's no i had a, I had a sort of a flick through there's no pictures no drawings no nothing it's just page after page after page of this Lovely, neat, compact Welsh writing. So I thought that was nice. And there are so many pages in there. There's That's 1,305. So I've got a lot of pages for my money. And, um, and that's the back. And that's been written on as well, but it's all faded. So yeah, I'll have fun doing a bit of scanning. But um, yeah, so that was expensive, but then it was offset by some cheaper purchases. So, um, you know, it all it all worked out well in the end. Um, this was my next purchase, which is again was slightly more than I normally um, spend in a charity shop. It was seven pounds, um, but the cover's just beautiful. They had two volumes of this, but um, I just bought the one because I'd just spent a lot of money in two shops and it was the first day of our break. Um, but what a lovely colour, 1888. Um, beautiful cover. Since looked it up, it's um, selling on other places for much, much more than £7. But um, And it's out of copyright, which is fabulous. Um, just love that little sheet of paper. That's really nice. And I looked at that and I thought, well, I could scan that and I could do a Roxy creation. She does things with like just sort of like cover pages like that, which I thought was lovely. And um, yeah, so it is um, a magazine. Um, it was, I think, printed in America initially. Um, and, um, and then it did come out in, in the UK. Um, and it's just got lots and lots of things. So it's a magazine, so it's got lots and lots of uh, articles, um, lovely plates um, like that in it. And just so many interesting things that I could do a lot with. Um, so, yeah, I thought it was uh, I thought it was worth having um, nice, nice colour. And, um, you know, lots of potential there that can that can easily be be used. Some really nice pictures. So, yeah, I was I was very happy with this. The paper changed. So that one's 
like a matte paper and then that one's a little bit more shiny and it's got lots and lots of letters like this that's a t lovely picture there um so yeah oh yeah they had loads of lincoln cathedral um how beautiful is that um so yeah i love lincoln the cathedral is beautiful absolutely stunning so yeah lots of lots of things that i know um in here as well i think it's got litchfield cathedral as well which was was really nice so yeah how cool so yeah they were my two expensive buys um oh, oh then we got some cheap things more modern so i've got a copy of this i've already got one copy of this which i paid a lot more than this one um i paid oh the price isn't on there i paid um 199 for it it's a better price um it's very oh shows it up on a bug it's very similar to sort of edith holden style drawings obviously you haven't got the lovely handwriting but some lovely illustrations there um which i thought i could use i love that that's just that's just beautiful that on its own is a tag there put it up that way that's a nice tag love it love it love it love it and the other book i think i paid about five for the other book i saw somebody use it and i was like oh, i'm looking that one up and uh, so i bought the other one online but um yeah very nice so now i've got two copies i will now merrily hack into this and make a few things so that was that oh my mother-in-law gave me this which i said oh perfect i can hang that in my craft room i'm so happy i could craft here all day oh well i do so that's lovely very sweet of her um oh i got this book on queen victoria they had um i've had about five of these um this was the oldest so yeah queen victoria and then you had like her children and her grandchildren um but i thought oh i like i like it was a pound um i like queen victoria the best so there's lots of lovely pictures in here that i can use i do tend to do a royal journal i could do one just about queen victoria to be fair um but yeah lots of lovely images i mean look at that i could fussy cut that and um that'd be nice in on a, on a corner of a page on a pocket or something likewise that so many things to just go through and harvest so yeah very very happy with this lovely little sort of sketches and things these are just great as well you could turn these into faux postcards i mean obviously you have to sort of like make a choice between which one you want um but um yeah some lovely lovely images um there this is windsor um and this is osborne house so yeah that's nice turn that into something oh but then you'd lose that on the back which is quite cool that make a lovely page so i could just use this page in a journal then I'd have both sides. Yeah, there's an idea, Jess. Let's make a one, Jess. Glad you think so, Jess. Super that, isn't it? So, yeah, I liked it. Liked it. Lovely images. Um, that's very cool. Very cool indeed. So, yeah, it's lovely. So, I was, I was pleased with that. Pound to say offset. The expensiveness of the others then i saw this book monet's i think this was 50p um and i've just been to uh, paris to the musée d'orsay and i saw 
a lot of, I've seen loads of these paintings in real life. Monet is my favourite um, impressionist artist. I like lots of them, um, but I do love a bit of Monet. Um, and he's not all um, water lilies, which Ed always goes, that can't be a Monet. It's not a water lily. He's, he likes impressionists as well, but Monet's not his favourite because he says it's all about it's all about um, lilies, but it isn't. I love that picture. So this was in Newsy Dorsey, and it's one I'd never seen before of his, and I really, really um, loved it when I saw it. I thought it was just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, there are others. I mean, that's you wouldn't have thought of that as Monet immediately looking at it, would you? That, that was the railway station that we went into. So we saw that in um, in the Musi Dorsey. And I went, oh, that's the, that's the station we came in on, which was, um, which was exciting. Um, so it was the station that he used when he went, because he did quite a lot of paintings in Normandy. He did the cathedral in Rouen, that iconic. Of course, absolutely iconic, and it was sort of parodied in Room of the View, which is one of my favourite um, films. So, yeah, it's so nice. And then, of course, Le Jeuneet saw that. That was that was in Paris. So yeah, this lovely, and it's lovely to think I've seen the originals. Not only in Dorsey, but in other other places around the world. Um, oh, got a ready reckoner. Well, it's not quite a ready reckoner. It's elements of algebra. That's right. I looked at a ready reckoner, but it was it was too much. And I'm thinking I've got loads of them. But this one, I think this was fifty p. Didn't have a price on it. I went and got a price on it, and he went fifty p. I went, oh yeah, that'd be lovely. So it's just got bits of algebra I don't know what year it is but you know just some some different I like to have pages that are a little bit different in my journals and this one is certainly a bit different so yeah liked it like the stamp as well this is Bootle Education Committee Bal Balliol General School for Girls so yeah um, then this was very exciting. This is a bit battered, but it is a Victorian um, photo album. I did pay five ninety nine for it. It says sold as seen. I have got another Victorian um, photo album, um, and um, which I paid pound for, which was really really lucky. Um, but um, I realised I was very lucky. Um, but this was lovely. I love that page. That's just gorgeous. So it's got all the these big plates um, in there, but it did have a couple of these. Now my local shop, look at those lovely women, just standing. This is the Isle of Man. It says that's where the photographer's from, and it's got the lovely bit on the back there, um, which I thought was very stunning now my local um shop has one this size it's been there for months nobody's buying it because i think it's overpriced i can't remember what it is i've got a feeling it's three quid and it's like who would pay that um so i got two of them so i've got that one and then i got this one from a different photographer so four nice gentlemen um, oh no, it's not. It's the Isle of Man. It's a different photographer, but it's also the Isle of Man. And um, so he's got that on the back. How cool is that? So, a little bit of research. I should be able to scan these, no problem. And I've got lovely backs as well as lovely fronts. So, I was happy to pay five ninety nine for this because I've got the two photos as well. So, I say I'd have paid that just for the photos down the road. 
Um, so, yeah, I will decide about what I'm going to use these for. Oh, and then there was this, which I thought, oh, I'll get that scanned as well. So I thought it was worth it to have um, a little something else as well. So I was quite happy. Well, we've got 19.25 written on that. So, yeah. And then we've got these things. So I thought, quite like the cover, I could do a big journal and um, cut these up, use these for something. Don't quite know what. Um, but um, I thought I could use some of them that are pretty. Have that on a cover or something. Um, so it's quite thick. I thought I could incorporate this as a cover um, for a journal. Um, cut it down um, in some way, shape or form. So, yeah, I was quite excited. Love the cover. I say make a rather large journal. And these are superb. So that was that. That's that fat percentages. Yeah, I did. I did loads. Um, and then the rest aren't from my holiday. They're from... So after being in Anglesey, we stopped off at Ed's mum's. She lives in Glossop. And uh, so went round the charity shops in Glossop and bought a couple of things. So I got these pound each. They're huge, massive. They're like A3. And um, so... They are lovely pictures of Yorkshire. This is South Yorkshire. I got two. I got one. Um, so I thought I could go through and I could cut up some of these pictures. You'll probably see me using this before you see the haul. Um, so yeah, it's so big. Can't fit it all in. So some of these pictures are far too big, but these little ones make really nice faux post postcards so we've got Sheffield here um Ed went to university in Sheffield so yeah I just just loved it just thought yeah there is for a pound there's loads and loads of pictures that I could use in a vintage journal and um yeah, I love them. I could make them postcards. I could just make them journaling cards as they are. Look at that. I love it. Seaside Studio Portrait from 1890s. One for the family album. It's lovely. Just lovely. So very happy. Very happy with that. And that's a little um, water fountain. And um, it's in Barnsley. But we've got um, a water fountain in our park as well. It doesn't work, but it's been restored so it looks beautiful. And um, so, yeah, it's nice to see that in use. So, some lovely thing. And I've been to lots and lots of these places as well, which, which, is, which is grand. So, yeah, there we are in Rotherham. And I used to work in Rotherham. Well, just outside Rotherham. I worked in a place called Maltby. And... Um, yeah, so my friend lives not far from Barnsley. And there's one that's a little bit coloured there as well. So that was cool. And then I got a second one. So this is South Yorkshire. And this is just Yorkshire. I have to say it like that. Yorkshire. This is where I live. It's my adopted home. And uh yeah, so this is you know, obviously more pictures. Um, so we've got Leeds. My son lived in Leeds when he was at uni. Went to Leeds uni. The other one went to York uni. So they weren't too far away. Bit of cricket. So that must be... Uh, yes, Headingley. So my, my, my son lived in Headingley, one of his student houses. Was in Headingley. Here we are back in Sheffield. The youngest was talking last night about wanting to move to Sheffield. I said, Oh, that's fine. I can get to Sheffield quite easy. Don't like I'm too far away for emergencies. Halifax in Undlesfield. Bit of Bradford. 
been to Bradford and we're so it's going to be the City of Culture in a couple of years time so look forward to visiting it during the City of Culture oh, I love that that flicked to me and I really loved it so when I mean, this is fishing uh, Yorkshire coast from Hull to Whitby so I live in Hull and um, this is the old harbour in Hull um, which which isn't, isn't there anymore um, lots of our sort of harbours have been have been filled in you can't quite see that have been filled in um, and um, they're now parks I'm not sure which one that is I'll have to I'll have to uh, have a little investigate but these are um, some of the women in Hull during during the war time when the men were away going to continue to bring in the fish so huge fishing history in Hull oh and this is York this is lovely my son I say my youngest lived in York Ed works in York so know York very very well back to Harrogate been there loads loads and loads and loads Scarborough it's always likes a day trip to Scarborough Filey and Brid or Bridlington but we all call it Brid really nice so yeah Whitby I just love Whitby so um yeah the Dales go there a lot so yeah I was um very pleased very pleased to get those nearly done nearly nearly done I've got others at the charity shop hauls to show before this one but it's uh I want to use some of this so this is the Encyclopedia Britannica no Britannia but yeah it is Britannica just you're right the first time um they had like every volume and they were selling them all for a pound each I thought well I'll just get the one um it's not too old um but it was nice paper um and nice size and I thought I could use do book some book page projects with this because they're a little bit bigger I quite like the cream colour it's only from the 50s 1958 so it's not hugely um old and um yeah so I just picked one for a pound nice paper and I just thought good size that's why I bought it good size use these um in book page projects I've got loads of pages now to use in book pages what we got about a thousand I think so Jess yeah yeah about a thousand so I was happy with that so and then what else did we get oh I got this um I wasn't sure what it was one pound fifty I opened it up and I thought oh nice little Chinese print you wouldn't expect that from the cat on the front would you so it is a like a guest book but it's not filled in and so I thought oh they'd be nice journaling pages in a um in a journal just fold it in half and I quite like the fact you've got your Chinese print on it I thought oh that'll be that'll be grand so yeah I thought that was worth it for that and then we've got some some non-books some non-books some things that aren't books not non-books so what have we got oh i got these nice envelopes these were 10 p each so i bought quids worth and i thought they'd be perfect size for like a long tall journal i've been wanting to make a long term journal for ages and um and i thought these would be cool pockets they could be you know made into a page pocket um or I could do it that way and have a flip out pocket on one side so yeah I thought oodles of possibilities there with that get them get them stained get them used and I got oh this scarf I saw this scarf £2.75 and um, I liked it as a scarf it's just such lovely fabric but then I thought oh that'd be a nice cover so yeah 
I've got loads and loads of scarves and this would be quite a number of covers to a journal. Um, so yeah, it's probably what it's going to end up as is a journal cover as opposed to wearing it as a scarf because I do have oodles of scarves. And then my final thing, I was very excited about this. It's a border. It was a pound. And um, I see other people getting wallpaper and borders and things and I've, I've never had one. And um, well, sometimes I see wallpaper in, in um, charity shops and they want like five or six quid for them. And it's like, I'm not paying that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that bit because that looks quite interesting. But um, but yeah, I thought that was quite a nice quite a nice pattern. It's um, yeah, quite good quality. It's quite thick. Cut those out, and then it just repeats, doesn't it? Yeah. So it is. It is this pattern here. So I liked that. That would be nice on the front cover, maybe, of something. Um, cut it down. I liked it. So, yeah, they had two. I resisted. I just bought the one. And um, that was that. So that is... That is this week's charity shop haul. Um, yeah, so I seem to be, you know, into the habit of doing it every Sunday. So this will probably come out on Sunday, first Sunday in August. Um, even though I've got other charity shop hauls that I've not filled from before then, but I'm going to start using this straight away. I need to do a few quick projects and, uh, and I think there's some quick projects in this little lot here. So look forward to doing those and, um, I will see you all again very, very soon. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the lovely comments. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscribers. Um, if you do watch me and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It makes a heck of a lot of difference to us creators, helps the algorithms and um, yeah, and it uh, helps me to carry on bringing you content. OK, bye for now.